Hi, everyone. It's Kathy with the Vegan News. First of all, I'd like to apologize. I have a tendency to be a little bit uh, detailed and maybe scientific. And in retrospect, I think I was that way with the EMF information last week. I'll try hard not to be quite that um, wordy and scientific next time. But anyway, on to where we have on to on my blog. You know, it's wonderful to see people with some clout uh, helping our movement. U.S. politician Eric Adams is urging Vice President Kamala Harris to go vegan. Adams, the current borough president of Brooklyn, has spoken out in support of the Givenita Woman's Foundation. And I had mentioned that a couple of weeks ago where they had written uh, Kamala and asked her to go vegan and why it was good to do so, the animals, the climate, COVID, you know, morbidity and all that. The initiative calls on the Biden-Harrison Biden -Harris administration to take a plant-based approach to tackle COVID-19 and address food insecurity, chronic illness, racial and gender-based structural inequality, and climate change. Adams, who recently declared his candidacy to be mayor of New York City, often uses his position to advocate a plant-based lifestyle. He said one of his greatest achievements was banning processed meat from New York public schools. And he's also written a book on how a vegan diet can tackle chronic diseases in the African uh, American community. Now, sometimes we have a little bit of problem explaining to others why we went vegan, why we think they should go vegan. And I have a couple of hints here. Uh, make it personal. Tell your story. Tell them why you went vegan. But don't take it personally. If someone gives you a hard time, don't take it personally. Everyone is hard hardwired to resist change, but they'll get better in time. And keep in mind that nothing disarms people more than a sense of humor and being able to crack a joke even on a topic we take very seriously. And if you want a vegan joke, there are a gazillion on the internet. Let the facts speak for themselves. Remember that the facts are on your side. Plant-based eating is way better for our bodies, the planet, and animals. Don't bury your friends and family with statistics, but do share a good book or documentary with them. Videos like Forks Over Knives, Cowspiracy, Mercy for Animals, what the hell, etc. And um, are you looking for a fresh start in 2021? Fighting COVID with diet, improving your health can be as easy as what you put on your plate. PCRM, Physicians uh, Committee for Responsible Medicine, is offering a free eight-week course. Join nutrition experts and weekly guests who will share practical tips and inspire you to eat more plant-based food. Although the class has started, you can still register for the remaining classes. And those include meal planning with success, tips for grocery shopping on a budget, getting health, healthy as a household, navigating restaurant carryout and fast food choices, debunking myths about plant-based foods, and milk, making healthy habits your lifestyle. And this I just read about today. Uh, I'll post the uh, website, quinoa and couscous move over for Neo is a super grain to watch out for, <coughs> excuse me, in the world of vegan cooking. Native to West Africa, this ancient grain has been around thousands of years, often like to a cross between quinoa and couscous. <coughs> it has a nutty, earthy flavor. And I will, <coughs> excuse me, I'll post the website on that. And what is a vegan Viking called? A Norwegian. My dog is vegan, but he's kind of a hypocrite about it. He has a fur coat that he always wears. <coughs> and that's it for this week.